Here on Ultimate Reloader, we've shown the Banish 30 from Silencer Central. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Banish 30 Gold, which is not just a suppressor, it's an entire package. Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. This is gonna be a pretty comprehensive video. We're gonna start by just doing a quick recap on the entire Banish suppressor lineup from Silencer Central. We're gonna talk about the Banish 30 Gold suppressor and package. Uh, the specs, the features, that sort of thing. We'll do some lab data. We're gonna put the Banish 30 Gold on our recoil rig and we're gonna compare it to other configurations, the bare muzzle, the Banish 30, with different configurations and so on and so forth. We'll also do some shooting with this rifle. This is a 22 arc full custom build with a uh, Ultradyne UD5 chassis, bat tr action this is a ballistic advantage barrel blank really great shooting rifle and we pulled off some shooting with this banished 30 gold that was absolutely amazing yeah. the banish suppressor lineup from silencer central is actually quite comprehensive we've got most of these suppressors here there's the banish 223 the banish 30 which has two configurations seven inch length and nine inch length that story has already been published, and now we're talking about the Banish 30 Gold package, which is actually a different suppressor and some of the stuff that you see here. The Banish 45, the Banish 338, the Banish 22. We also published a story on that. That is a real fun little suppressor. The Banish 46, we've used that in multiple stories, including lever action fun with uh, 4570. And then the Banished Backcountry, which is kind of our favorite for ultra compact configurations and for that kind of lightweight, nimble setup that you'd like for things like hunting. So what is the Banished 30 Gold package? It's a suppressor and accessories and tools kind of all wrapped up in one package. You've got the suppressor itself, which we'll talk about the detailed specs for in just a moment here. It comes with two muzzle brakes. We've got one half 28 for your 22 cal and similar scenarios, and then we've got one 5.8-24. This is a 22 caliber rifle that's threaded 5.8-24. So uh, basically in any case, for the majority of the rifles that we're shooting, we've got that covered. The brake runs internal, and it's a part of the quick detach system. You can see this little taper here, and if we look in the end of the suppressor, we can see the matching taper there very easily and quickly take the suppressor on and off. So it also includes this suppressor cover, which takes care of some of the mirage effects when the heat comes up off the suppressor, but it also reduces sound level. We don't have sound level testing in this video. We're working very hard and very diligently on that with some major players in the data acquisition for ballistics industry and uh, I hope to have some updates on that shortly. Really exciting work there. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we've got uh, the Banish Suppressor Pouch, which I don't actually happen to have, and then also the Baffle Removal Tool, which is right here. So basically it's kind of everything that you're gonna need to get started with your suppressor. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone with this comparison here. We've got specs for Banish 30 Gold, but then we're also gonna compare it with the Banish 30, which, as I've said, you've seen multiple times here on the channels. We've used that suppressor a bunch. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda highlight the differences here and walk through. So the Banish 30 Gold is an 8.2 inch suppressor, that's the length. The Banish 30 can be either seven inch or nine inch, depending on whether you add the extension. The diameter for the Banish 30 Gold is 1.593, whereas the Banish 30 is 1.5. The Banish 30 Gold has 11 baffles. The Banish 30 has 8 baffles. Weight is 13.2 ounces for Banish 30 Gold and 11.2 or 14.3 ounces for the Banish 30, depending on whether you're running the 7-inch configuration or the 9-inch configuration. Both of these suppressors are made out of titanium. Thread pitch is either half 28 or 5 8 24 for the Banish 30 Gold and is 5 8 24 for the Banish 30. Both are self serviceable, both are 30 caliber. The caliber range for Banish 30 Gold is from Rimfire all the way up to 300 Remington Ultra Magnum, whereas for Banish 30, it's 17 caliber to 300 Weatherby Magnum. Both are black, 
The Banished 30 Gold has a Sierra Coat finish, whereas the Banished 30 has a Gun Coat finish. Sound reduction for the Banished 30 Gold is 36 decibels, whereas sound reduction for the Banished 30 is 34 decibels. Mount style is Quick Detach for Banished 30 Gold and Direct Thread Mount for the Banished 30. The Banished 30 Gold is full, full auto rated, whereas the Banished 30 is limited full auto rated, as in for short bursts only. Both have a lifetime warranty. Okay, so one of the things that we can do here on Ultimate Reloader that you're not gonna see on any other YouTube channels is to put this suppressor through its paces on our recoil rig. What is the recoil rig? Well, this is a design uh, that was inspired by what Cal Zant at the Precision Rifle blog has put together. It's based on sensors from PCB, PZO Electronics, and other related hardware. And what's really cool about it is that we can measure the equivalent of rearward forces at your shoulder at 20,000 force readings per second. Now, unlike your shoulder, we're going up against a very consistent uh, part of our fixture. So it's not gonna be exactly what you'd feel in your shoulder, but it's proportional to what you'd feel in your shoulder and it's much more consistent, of course. And we can do things like capture impulse, force, time, look at peak forces, area under the curve, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so to recap, this is some early results when we've had first put the recoil rig together that we gathered with the Banish 30. And so what you see here is the blue curve there is the bare muzzle. And then the seven inch configuration is the higher recoil pulse under that, so the orange one. And then you can see the nine inch configuration is the gray curve. And basically at the end of the day, the seven inch configuration just had a bit more recoil than the nine inch, but both of them reduced recoil substantially over the bare muzzle. For this set of testing, we used the same rifle, full custom 300 PRC, and 300 PRC 212 ELDX Precision Hunter ammunition from Hornady. So it's basically the same setup, and we ran through a number of different configurations, including the Banish 30 Gold. So here we see the bare muzzle, and this graph is a little bit different than the last graph, graph because we now have, instead of volts on the vertical axis, we have actual pounds force. That's right, it's not pressure. Pressure is force over an area, that's different. This is actually force, the actual push that you would feel in your shoulder. And these data points correspond to individual samplings coming in 20,000 times a second. So there's our bare muzzle. Then under that, we have the Banish 30 nine inch configuration. And so again, that's gonna be pretty similar to the seven inch configuration, just a little bit more recoil reduction in that particular case. Below that, we have Banish 30 gold with the break. And as you can see, it's pretty consistent. There's a little bit less there. There's a little bit of a time shift. So we have a little bit less, a little strip of area that's different between the two. Other than that, it pretty much mirrors at the Banish 30 at the nine inch configuration, and this is with a shorter suppressor. That's because of the internal break. Continuing with our data, uh, the purple line is the break by itself. This guy right, right here, I'm calling, calling that little break on, on the graph. And then below that, we threw on a conventional muzzle break. So the EC tuner break comes down even further as you'd expect. It is a dedicated muzzle break, and it's therefore going to be the most effective at raw recoil reduction. But if you look at the EC tuner break next to all of the suppressors, they're definitely in the same order of magnitude of recoil reduction, way under that bare muzzle value. So what I learned from running this test is the break itself, the little break, the Banish 30 Gold and the Banish 30 nine inch config all ran very, very similar recoil reduction figures. Okay, so let's talk actual shooting, right? We had the 300 PRC rifle with the Banish 30 Gold and all the other configs in a kind of controlled environment. Then as a part of our review of this Element Theos 6 to 36 by 56, which by the way is an absolutely awesome scope, we decided to pair that with the Banish 30 Gold because we're gonna be going hunting with this thing. That's right. 
uh, hopefully with Coyote. Uh, we already have some experience hunting rock chucks with this guy. Totally amazing setup. And what's really cool about the 22 Arc is it's amazing long range performance for the size of the cartridge, for the charge weight that we reload this cartridge with. Uh, designed for the AR platform happens to be a really, really effective cartridge for a bolt action rifle. We do have a complete build video where I go through the chambering process. We've run this through multiple configurations with different stocks. This is kind of our hunting config with the Ultradyne UD5 chassis here. Okay, so let me provide you a brief recap here of our shooting experiences with this setup. Okay, so I've dialed up, uh, I've dialed up 1.3. <laughs> it's a great sound. Okay. Awesome. Let's go a little further. 660. Just absolutely paced in that thing. Center punching, what a laser, what a laser. <laughs> Some good mirage coming off that suppressor here. <laughs> that is really gratifying, I must say. Some thick mirage going on there. Let's see what we can do here. Nothing. I had to come up a mill last time. I'm going to aim at the top of his head. Could we be high? Aim at his feet. hit. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> hit. Hit. So three in a row, aiming at his feet. So 
So it's about a half mil high there. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, this ammo is, is spectacular. So as you can see, this rifle was an absolute hammer with the Vanish 30 Gold Suppressor and specifically with Hornady's ELDM 88 green factory ammunition. It's got the match label, right? So it's the white box. That stuff absolutely hammered about third MOA at 100 yards with the Banished 30 Gold. We captured that result when you know we were doing our zero for the suppressor and the specific ammunition. And uh, just super, super awesome. Wow, that's the winner. That is the winner. We also had a brief test testing Hornady's 62 grain ELD VT factory ammunition with the 22 arc against a rock chuck. Let's check that out real quick. Okay, here we go. He's gone, he's a roller. So as you can see, a very effective hunting package, and I'd be comfortable pushing this way further than that shot that we took with the rock chuck, but that was completely lethal. And I would say for myself, I'm not suggesting that you do this, I would take a few shots with just the suppressor without hearing protection. Very, very effective sound reduction. And like I said, we hope to follow up what we did here with actual sound reduction with real laboratory grade Hardware. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Okay, so before my conclusion, one thing to mention is Silencer Central has completely dialed in the silencer purchasing process. They can set up a trust for you. They can do all the paperwork. You still have to pay your $200 tax stamp, but the suppressor can get delivered right to your door, which is pretty much the easiest way you're going to get a suppressor. So before we wrap things up, I wanted to show you just how easy it is to install the brake and the suppressor. So each brake comes with a packet of different shims and you can use those shims. Let's see how many I've actually got here. They've got different thicknesses so that you can stack them in different configs. We've got one thick one and we've got two thin ones. I think the thin ones are about five thousandths of an inch. So you basically figure which combination of those shims you're going to need to properly time the mount, which is also the brake. And then tighten the brake down, just like so. And then you just screw the suppressor right onto the brake. It literally couldn't be any easier. Okay, so in summary, the Vanish 30 Gold is a great option if you want the quick detach feature, and if you also want a package that's gonna come with pretty much everything you need with your suppressor. The cover, which reduces recoil and sound, the baffle removal tool for easy servicing, multiple brakes for different calibers and rifle setups, uh, the other tools that come with all of the Banish suppressors, all in one convenient package. The performance on this has been really, really good. The, Group that we shot with the 88 ELDM factory ammunition proved that, wow, this suppressor is going to not hurt our precision of groups. It could actually help it slightly. I've seen that with multiple suppressors. Not all of them, but some of them. And in terms of sound level, for myself, not saying that you should do this safe for hunting without hearing protection for a limited number of rounds with a particular caliber that I'm comfortable with, else I would still use EarPro. But one thing about hunting with the suppressor is that the animals respond very differently. When I was in South Africa this summer, for instance, I shot a springbuck and then an impala back to back within a minute or so. And that probably would not have been possible had I been using a bare muzzle or a muzzle brake. And I found that over the years of hunting with silencers, not only, it's obviously not hearing safe, we know that. Right. The, the rifle is still way over the speed of sound. Right but it confuses the animals enough where they know something's wrong, but they're not quite sure from which direction it has come. And I mean, perfect broadside shot. Yep. 45 seconds after you shot the spring bar. Crazy. This is something that usually only happens in Africa <laughs> um, and why it's so much fun to hunt here.
So I am a total believer in using suppressors for hunting. And with this 22 arc rifle, what a sweet setup. I was not seeing a lot of muzzle rise and I was able to see the trace. I was able to see my impacts really well through the scope, which is exactly what I'm looking for. What I'd like to know is, do you have the Banish 30 Gold package? How is it working for you? What are you shoot? What cartridge are you shooting and what rifle? What are you using it for? Whether it be target shooting or hunting? I'd love to hear your experiences. Drop a comment and we'll start that discussion. Look for more Silencer Central content here on Ultimate Reloader in the coming months. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.